Welcome to Colonial Kids. We are so pumped to have you here. It would not be the same without you. We pray this lesson teaches you something new about God's love and His amazing Son, our Savior and best friend, Jesus. Have so much fun learning about Him today. Hi, Colonial Kids. We're the Braddock family. Hope you're having an awesome day. We're so glad to be with you today to worship God and learn more about Jesus together. Let's pray together and then we'll get ready to worship and hear the word. Dear Lord, thank you so much for Colonial Kids and all the leaders and the wonderful little world changers. We ask today that you would give them a fresh word, that you would fill their hearts with the truth that Jesus is their best friend and their savior, and that we would just have an amazing morning worshiping you with all of our friends. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Now let's stand up and worship Jesus. Bye. Called Savior, have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love, I believe in the sun. Show me. Something deep inside me that makes me feel the way I do It's something that can guide me when there's a choice for me to choose I'm not talking about trivial things like a sweater goes with my shoes We're talking about the heart now, not just the muscle that's pumping your blood 
You gotta listen up now Well, it's a message from above And God wants you to know That He knows That out of your heart comes love The whole world around you Has got it wrong from the start They're looking on the outside But God looks at the heart So now that you've listened With your ears I hope you understand Using your brain Don't let the condition be Of your heart get out of hand Look out to your heart I'll Be just like King David And have a heart for God And his plan For you saying that appearances can be deceptive. There is also one that says, like a sheep in wolf's clothing. What does that mean? It means that what we can see on the outside may not be the same as what's on the inside. You might see a person who is really confident in the way they speak and act, when on the inside they just want to be loved. God is an expert at looking inside our hearts. That's right. What's on the inside counts. Others may look at the outside, but God looks at the heart. Let's talk about that. Cut. Only 27 takes. Well done. One, two, three, four. There's something special about this place full of crazy characters and imagination run wild. A place where the good news of Jesus spreads out all over the world. Join us as we plan it, film it and wrap it up. All right, guys, are you ready to seize the day? Guys, girls, are you ready to ascend the mountain? I just ate 14 watermelons, a flying kite on the weekend, and I have a pet elephant named Roger. Oh, great, it's ready. Hey, Terry, how's Roger? Forget Roger. Who's Roger? Well, my brother has a friend named Roger. He's imaginary. Hang on, hang on. I know a Bruce named Roger. No, no. Mr Rogers used to teach me recorder. Enough about Rogers. Who's Roger? That's it! No, Terry. Remember what the flock of blue-crested walrus taught you in the Himalayas. Keep calm. Okay, guys, we've all been distracted lately and we're not working together as a team. We have a giant deadline approaching. And with your attitude now, we're not going to make it. Oh, Ooh. come on. We'll, we'll be fine. Oh, it's not that hard. What? Oh. Right. You're acting like the Israelites who gave up before they even started trying. What are you all working on? Catering. And what are you all meant to be doing? International yes. monetary policy. Scripts. And where is Sophie? What is she even doing? Uh, Shopping. Getting a man food. food. That's what I mean, guys. We need to be working as a team. Like the herd of wildebeest that I encountered in Gragot's Pass. <sighs> so, I am sending you all on a whole day team building exercise. What? what? You leave in 15 minutes. Team building exercises? Not those. You'll never get me to a team building exercise day. We provide lunch. Where's the bus? Where's lunch? You. 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 My dream was about a badgie. Why was he a badgie? Because he was destroying the world? Oh no! He made me sad, so I went on a flying skateboard and I was like, woohoo, this is awesome! Then I jumped off, then the superhero 
Okay. That's amazing. Then there was another bad guy, so he started all over again. That's, That's a crazy dream. Yeah. <laughs> You see, when I was Funny Boy Dan, I entered my very first comedy competition. I spent months handcrafting the punniest puns, the knockiest knock-knock jokes, and the funniest funnies. I wrote them all in my hilarious handbook. The day of the competition, my handbook went missing. I was nervous, but it was okay because I had it all memorised. Then something happened I never expected. A boy went on before me and did my entire routine, every joke, taking all my best stuff. That boy was Stan. Phony, mean, Stan. Hello, everybody. <gasps> My name is... I think we all know what your name is. No. No. Is that Roger? No, this is Stan. Oh. Where did that come from? It's an app. Ah, your ferns. Ah, I will be needing them as part of the team building exercise. What, you're going to take my phone like you took my notebook? Uh, 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 I do not know what you're talking about. Ferns now, please. Psh, huh, yeah, no one's going to make me give up my phone. Phone's done. Yeah. Uh, uh. Now I have your phones. They are now mine. Oh, I didn't save my game. You are all here for one reason. You do not work as a team. Instead, you, you act like little kittens playing with your bowler string, batting it to and fro, to and fro, you crazy felines. But today, you live here as a team, united by cause, greater than yourself, and then you get your precious phones back. This is not cool, guys. I can't believe Director Terry is making us do this. So lame. <sighs> what I understand is why yes. Director Terry... Yes, yes. back amongst oh, yourself, oh, you crazy little kitten. Oh, you never well, succeed I, I if you keep behaving like he that. We can't do this. There must be another way. Yeah, it's called the exit. Oh, great. great. Oh, aren't you forgetting something, my little kittens? Our phones. Give them back. Oh, I'm not supposed to do this, but Helga! Yes, yes. you can take your precious phones and go to your yes. homes, but if you go, you'll never see this again. That's it. This just got real. Look, only one of us has to finish, right? I can do it, but I need your help. Becky, you're the best encourager I've ever seen. So you need to be a head cheerleader. Jackie, you design sets so you can design the best path for me to take. And Nath, you organised catering last week. We can do it! Whoa, 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 nothing's changed, Dan. Something has changed, Dave. I've changed. I'm in it to win it, and we are not leaving until we become a team. Team on three! One, One two, two, three, team! team. Come, on, come, on, come, on, yeah. come on, 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 It's over, Stan. We've become a team. So your reign of terror has ended. Yes, yes. Or has it? It has. Has it? Yes or no? English is not my first language. I think you owe me a handbook, Stan. Yes, yes, of course. But I'm not returning this to one man. No. I'm returning this to a team. 
Thanks, Stan, for an evil guy. You're pretty nice. Come on. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. You do realize he stole this from me when I was a kid. Like that. My work here is complete. Director Terry gives me five individuals who do not care, but I give him a team who cares very deeply. But it is not over, Fanny Mandan. We shall meet again, and once again, we shall tango. Ah, oh, my mustache! That was so much fun. Before you go, we want to ask you a question. Is Jesus your best friend? The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We all have things that we've done and things in our hearts that aren't God's best for us, and that's called sin. Yeah, sin separates us from God. But the good news is, is that God loved you so much that He sent His one and only Son, Jesus. That's right, and Jesus was God's Son. He came to earth, lived a perfect life, and then died on the cross and took all of our sin. But He didn't stay in the grave. Jesus rose from the grave, defeating death and sin forever. And the Bible says that if we say with our mouth and believe in our hearts that Jesus Christ is God's Son and that God raised Him from the grave, that we will be saved. We will be a Christian, a child of God. And if you've never prayed that prayer, we would love to invite you and lead you in that prayer today. It's a decision that you make in your heart. So it doesn't matter where you are, you can pray this in your heart to Jesus today. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love me. Thank you that you died on the cross for me and you rose again. Forgive me of all my sins, of all the things I've done wrong. I make a choice today to follow you, Jesus. I want to be a Christian, a child of God, for all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. That's amazing. That is literally the best decision that you can make. In the Bible, it says that there's a party that goes on in heaven every Ooh. time someone makes that decision. So we're so excited for you and we just really wanna hear from you. If you made that decision, we really wanna hear from you. So tell your parents that you made that decision and to email us at kids at colonialchurch.life and we'll send you a little something special. We have a little gift that we'd like to give you guys and we're just so excited you'd make that decision. Yeah, and never forget Colonial Kids that God designed you with a purpose, that Jesus is your best friend and there's no junior Holy Spirit. God loves you so much and so do we. We'll see you soon.